Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'll be doing another updating my binders video and I have quite a hefty stack but I have to be completely honest with you. I'd say like a little less than half of these are cards that I already had but recently I had to take out a bunch of my Ice One cards to take a collection photo for like their third anniversary. I'll put it up on the screen right now so you can see it and I was just like too lazy to put them back in so I just decided to include them in my next uh, updating my binders video which is this one but i do have quite a lot of cards i especially have a bunch of ice one cards and once again today it is like exclusively girl groups so that is pretty nice i'm making a lot of really nice progression on my collections so let's just get straight into it all right so let's get started with my girl groups binder and i have some itsy today i just received my first crazy and love albums like a couple of days ago I want to say and I got my pulls I got these two <laughs> and I actually have some plans with crazy in love because I'm also going to collect the special edition and besides the special edition I will also be collecting two pops that I really really like so I will be using two pages for that and I will be splitting up like the regular album photo cards so I'll have these on this page and then this set on the other page but right now i don't know exactly how i want to lay it out so i'm just gonna put it in here this is gonna be a seven layout and this is gonna be a six layout if i'm not mistaken and i put the like stickers that comes with the album in here just to make some like cuter place holders so i'll be putting two in here like that and then in here I don't know yet if I want to do like that or like two 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 but for now I'm just gonna do like two 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 and this card is gonna go here all right so that's it for Legion I have so many more album cards on the way so I cannot wait to get those. Then for Jiho, I do have something today. I have two cards. I have one that's Taste of Love and one that is The Year of Yes, which is so nice. Like I was really scared <laughs> for my chances of getting the Year of Yes cards, but it's like, I think I have like three on the way. So it's been pretty nice actually. So she goes in here and again I take my GTO collection and my twice collection in general like super super slowly and I'm just enjoying my time and it's like pretty nice not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be putting her here. I'm also complete with Taste of Love. They're all on the way so it's very very exciting. So that's actually it for my girl group binder today. I don't really have anything else so I'll be just moving on to my Luna binder. So for Luna, I mainly have things from like the latest eras. I have this Olivia Hay hash card. I think I'll put it here. And then I have version, oh, which version is this? This one, right? Yes. Okay, I'll put this one here. And then Versha D. God, I love Hyunjin's cards so much. And this Olivia card is also super duper super cute. Here we go. And then the and cards always throw me off because, you know, for like, um, what's it called? The Why Not era for Midnight era, you could like tell the like versions by the backs, but you can't for these. This one goes, oh, these are, oh, never mind. This is super easy. <laughs> so I have version B complete for Miss Hyunjin. I absolutely loved Luna's comeback, like their Japanese debut. It was so good and I love their like softer, Mm, soft isn't really the right word to describe it, but like they're more fun side, <laughs> they're more bubblegum side. I absolutely loved that and I loved all of the references to 
their like pre-debut era. It was just so, so cute. And their photo cards are so adorable. I'm not gonna be collecting their Japanese stuff, but I, I just love like this era that we're in right now and they all look amazing. And BBC are allowing them to like act like a regular K-pop group which I'm so happy about. <laughs> like about freaking time. Like now they're allowed to do actual TikToks and they're allowed to like, you know, have fun. And I, I have been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> anyway, so like I was saying, not all of these are new, but I could not remember which ones were like new cores and which ones weren't. So I'm just gonna put away all of them. Just the fact that it's been three years since Ice One debuted is just so insane to me. Like they've been such a big part of my life. And like, I don't know about you, but for me the past three years, like since 2018, my life has changed so much, so drastically. And it's just, I feel like Ice One is one of the only things that's been consistent in my life over the past three years. And I don't know, because of that, I just feel like it's even more special to me. I am pretty far with this set. That's pretty nice. Anyways, moving on to Hard Ice. I'm pretty far with this set as well, actually. My favorite set, of course. <laughs> so let's just start here. Oh my god, they're so cute. I wish that they were like allowed to post for their anniversary. Um, but I mean, of course not. Yuri just finished her promotions for her solo, which is absolutely amazing. I really, really love Glassy and her b-sides and stuff but she just finished her promotions and i just <laughs> i can't wait for her comebacks like i was not expecting this kind of music from her i think we were all kind of thinking the same thing like <laughs> i think we were all expecting something more ballady from her and i am just so pleasantly surprised with this song that she's put out and like the choreography and everything i'm so proud of her and uh do I have anything else for this? No, I don't. This page, great. <laughs> I'm just very, very proud of her and I can't wait to see what she does in the future. Oh my God, this set is so freaking gorgeous. I am so happy about it. I'm just missing free and of course I'm missing the free most difficult members. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> it is so frustrating. Also, it's been like pretty recent since I posted um, my last video like this and I do like posting a lot of them recently because I feel like my subscribers like this kind of videos the most and I also like these kind of videos the most because I don't have to like talk about something specific for this. I can just kind of talk about whatever I want. Anyways, this page is complete. Look at that. I finally got this Minju card. I'm so, so happy. Back when I collected uh, Yena, Minju, and Yujin on this side, I had such a hard time finding it. So I'm so happy that I finally have it. And again, I'm just missing the free most expensive members, but it's fine. <laughs> For this, I do have Chewon. Oh my God. I cannot believe that I pulled her. Also, this Hitomi card is one of my favorite of hers. She is so freaking cute. In general, I think her hard eyes set is just my favorite of her cards. Like this era, her photo cards were so stinking cute. She's absolutely adorable. I don't have anything else for this. I do have Cheon on the way though, which is pretty nice. I also think I have Nako on the way actually, now that I think about it. But yes, moving on to Blue Mice. I don't have anything new here. This is just like me filling up the spots where I removed them. Though I do have Hitomi for this set on the way, so that's exciting. Then moving into One Eric Diary, and I got a lot of new One Eric Diary things. These are not sorted. Since I recently picked up like all of One Eric Diary, I talked about this in my last video as well. Okay, let us <laughs> sort these. Though I am pretty far with One Eric Diary, which is pretty nice since it is my favorite version. Oh my god, where does this go? 
Help. I don't know why I'm stressing so much. Like, it's not like I have something to do. I could just cut it if it, like, takes me too long. This one goes here, 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 and here. All right, so for this set, I have a lot. Diary is obviously what I have made the most progress on since I've been collecting that for the longest. So for this page, we have... Yujin, this is one of my favorite of her cards. Like her hoodie is just, oh, she's so cute. And I have Hyoan for this page. Oh my God, I'm struggling today. There we go, Tomi and Yui. Also recently, I just haven't really filmed that much. I haven't really had much to film like i ordered my espa albums from k-town for you which i know it was a mistake i shouldn't have i should have ordered from somewhere else but you know the discount is just so tempting but yeah and they only just shipped today <laughs> it's been so long since espa's comeback so my god <laughs> like it took them so long which i know is like the standard for k-town for you it's just like when did they get this slow? Because they weren't always this slow. Like, they used to be pretty quickly. Or pretty quick. So I don't really know what went wrong. Um, but yeah. They only just shipped today. So I haven't really been able to film an unboxing for that. And at this point, I don't think I'm gonna film, like, an official unboxing. I will be opening up my albums on camera since I did order, like, via a group order. And so we have 17 albums in total. Um, but I won't be doing like a formal unboxing since it's been so long and they're a pretty big group so like <laughs> it's not like there are no unboxings on here Cheon. no Chewon. my god however for Bugaboo since they they debuted like a week ago at this point I do have 13 albums on the way from Music Korea and I haven't seen that many unboxings so I do think that I will be unboxing that like formally flipping through the photo book. There's only one version so I don't really think it's gonna be a problem and I'm gonna show my fan sign album as well as like the Polaroid. I do really hope that I get Choyon <laughs> like she is an old alongside Hyoan and they've been my olds for like the same amount of time but now like I finally have Choyun as a debuted idol. Oh, I forgot he told me. But yeah, um, so I would prefer to get her, especially since I don't want to trade Polaroids because shipping, track shipping from Denmark is like incredibly expensive. But are we surprised? Once again, I'm only missing Yuri and Sakura, which again, the most expensive members. We saw that coming, but this is almost complete, so I'm really excited about that, especially since it's one of my favorite sets. Anyways, for this we have Yujin. What is that? <laughs> and Nako and Yena. And then for this we have Chewon. I do really like this AR actually of hers. She looks really stunning here. Oh my god, this this set. Okay. <laughs> so I have Chewon and Yuri and also Nako for this set. Like I got these two, which I'm so happy about. <laughs> like I'm not gonna end up having those two, like missing those two at the end, like with all of my other sets. <laughs> it has become a problem. I feel like it's especially become hard like after their um, disbandment because I feel like a lot of people have picked up OT12. So like the members that were already pretty difficult to collect are getting even more difficult to collect because now even more people want them, which like makes sense. It's just still like, it's kind of annoying but also cute that we're all collecting ot12 like i support that if you want to collect ot12 like if you've been thinking about it do it it's like so fun <laughs> and then i have minju and i have no placeholders for this but miss minju let's move on to one theater i only have that 
I thought I had more. Oh, well. Okay, so I think this goes with these. So she goes here. Yay. And then one reeler. I also don't have one reeler sorted. So uh, let me just do that. So here we have scene one. And this is the white set. So we got two cards here. Chain one. This card definitely isn't new. And neither is this one. I don't know. I don't see as many one wheeler cards as I see for like every other era. And it makes me kind of confused. Like why? <laughs> um, but it's not really something that I stress about. And there we go. And then for scene two. This is not. <laughs> there we go. This is also not here. Okay. Okay, so we're starting off with the selfie set. Beauty. And he told me. And then me and you. Then this is... Okay, so we have Sakura here. Sakura, MB, and Cheon all go on this page. I absolutely adore Sakura's one-wheeler cards, but I only have one of them. <laughs> but like, she looks so stunning with her pink hair. That was such a good idea, and I think she should do that more often. Also, this card for Hyeon is one of my favorite of her cards. She is so stunning! Ah! Moving on to the pink back of these cards. So... Yuri and Nako and then Cheon here, right? Oh, wait, shoot. Cheon goes here. I'm so far with Cheon and I have so many more cards of hers on the way, so that is super exciting. And Yujin, <laughs> and then we only have one the story left. Wait, actually. I do have this one card that I also took out. There we go. So, starting with their flower ones. I have these two. And this does not go here. <laughs> this goes in the Hyoan binder instead. So, Tomi goes down here. And then Minjo. And Yana. Very cute, very cute. And then for the selfies, Pomi. And I got Yuri recently, and I also got Yana recently. And Cheon is on the way, so I'm just missing Mbi and Sakura. Pretty nice. I think that's it for this binder. There is so much for this binder. I would really like to split this in two. I think I've said that before, but yeah, <laughs> it's getting pretty filled and I keep wanting to pick up other sets. So very stupid indeed, <laughs> but let me move on to my Hyoan binder. All right, so I have a bunch of her beauty cut pre-order benefits and I'm so excited to be putting them away. But first, I do have this one. This is like so heavy. <laughs> and I'm like scared of breaking it every time I like carry it. And I don't know why. Oh my god, wait. This one. I think. I think it's this one. So her 12 cafe sticker and then moving on to her beauty cut. So I have one of her with drama one cards. Oh god, I don't remember which or which. Okay, so these are all from the same store. And I think these are also from the same store and I'm missing one of those. So I think these are with the with drama ones if I'm not mistaken. Again, I might be. But I might also just not care about these stores and just put them how I think like they look best together. Cause like, okay, let me show you. She has a few cards like in this outfit, like these three and I think one more. 
um, and then she has these two and those two kind of goes with that and then she has one more that looks like this which I also have on the way and she has two in green so I might just like play around with it like that Ugh, I don't know let me know what you think I know like it's my it's my collection and whatever but like I do want to know your opinion oh shit sorry <laughs> I do want to know your opinion I think for now I'm just gonna put them in and then I'm gonna play with it on my own time and I'm gonna look for the comments and if you guys have anything that you would like to say about this if you have uh, an opinion that you want to voice let me know but yeah I'm just gonna do it like this for now I love her beauty cut, um, like, what are they called? Pops. Even though I tend to not like, um, like, not sell these as much, but I do really like these. And she's coming out with a season's greetings, like an official one, and I'm so excited about that, because, like, more stuff to collect for her. Yes, please, and thank you very much. <laughs> Um, again, I also have one more on the way and these two are really hard to find and so are the JJ Muse ones and I so regret that I didn't just buy them when they came out, but oh well, <laughs> I did that to myself, I guess. Okay, so lastly, before we move on to bigger items, I just have this card. Now I'm almost done. I actually have this on the way, so I will be complete with her one story trading cards. Anyways, so I got some pretty exciting things. First up, I got her one day um, postcard, which, oh my god, I got it for so cheap. Like, I'm so thankful to the person who sold me this, because like, oh my god. It was so cheap, you don't even understand. <laughs> like, if you collect Ice One, you know how much this goes for. And it was so freaking cheap. I'm so happy. Oh, and it fits perfectly and she looks absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. And then on to four pocket things. You guys, I got this. I've said so many times on my channel that I would never get that. Cause I've like, I, I've only seen it on templates. Like I didn't know it actually existed. And like, it was that bad. And then I found it on Macari for so freaking cheap and I just, I lost my mind. I immediately purchased it. <laughs> like, oh my god. So freaking happy. Does it not fit? Oh, maybe I have to take off the sleeve. Okay. Okay. It's there. It's, it's there and it, it fits. It's all right. <laughs> like that. It is so freaking cute. Ah! And then... I just have this one color gram talk card. And again, I was really surprised with how small this was. Let me see where's, yeah. I was expecting it to be the same size as this. So I was so surprised when I opened it and saw how small it was. Ooh, I'll have this spread filled up. That is pretty nice. I have been working so much on my Hyewon collection recently and I just love the amount of progress that I've made and it just makes me so so happy <laughs> that I have this like filled collection like my pride and joy literally <laughs> anyways that was uh, it for today's video I feel like it went pretty quickly despite how many cards there were but yeah thank you so much for watching this video um again Feel free to voice your opinions. You know how much I love listening to what you guys have to say. And I love your opinions and everything. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.